A company has a policy of retiring company cars. This policy looks at the number of miles driven, purpose of trips, style of car, and other features. The distribution of the normal of months in service for the fleet cars is bell-shaped, which means we have a normal distribution, and has a mean of 39 months and a standard deviation of 5 months. So we're given the mean equals 39 months, which means mu equals 39. And we're given the standard deviation is five months, so sigma equals five. We're asked to use the 68, 95, 99.7 rule, the empirical rule, to determine the approximate percent of cars that remain in service between 44 and 54 months. So if we let x be equal to the number of months, we want to determine the percent or probability that x is greater than 44 and less than 54. So because we have a normal distribution, if we can determine how many standard deviations 44 is away from the mean of 39, and how many standard deviations 54 is away from the mean of 39, we can determine this percentage. So notice how 44 minus the mean of 39 is equal to five. This indicates that 44 is one standard deviation above the mean, and because 54 minus the mean of 39 is equal to 15, and 15 is equal to three times five, or three times the standard deviation. This indicates that 54 is three standard deviations above the mean. So we can rewrite this percentage as the percent or probability that x is greater than, again, 44 is one standard deviation above the mean, which we can express as mu plus one sigma, and x is less than 54, which would be mu plus three sigma. And now we can use the empirical rule to determine this percent. We'll also come back and solve this a second way using z-scores. But for a quick review, when we have a normal distribution, mu plus or minus one sigma represents 68% of the data. Mu plus or minus two sigma represents approximately 95% of the data. And finally, mu plus or minus three sigma represents approximately 99.7% of the data. And then because of the symmetry of the bell-shaped curve, we can break these percentages down as shown here below. So notice how the percent between mu plus one sigma, which would be here, and mu plus three sigma, which would be here, we want to determine the percent of this region here. Notice how this would be approximately 13.5% plus 2.35%. So this is equal to, again, 13.5% or approximately plus 2.35%, which is equal to 15.85%, which means approximately 15.85% of the cars remain in service between 44 and 54 months. Now let's solve the same problem using z-scores. Remember, z-scores indicate how many standard deviations a particular data value is away from the mean. And the z-score is equal to x, the data value, minus the mean divided by sigma, the standard deviation. So starting with the same probability of percent, where we want to find the percent that x is greater than 44 and less than 54, We'll now calculate the z-score for 44 and 54 and write this percent using z-scores. So for x equals 44, the z-score is gonna be equal to 44 minus the mean of 39 divided by five, which would be five divided by five, which equals one, which indicates 44 is one standard deviation above the mean, which we found above as well. And then for x equals 54, the z-score would be equal to 54 minus 39 divided by five, which is 15 divided by five, which equals three, which means 54 is three standard deviations above the mean. So we can write the same percentage as the percent or probability that z is greater than one and less than three. So looking at the graph of the standard normal distribution shown here below, we know this is a standard normal distribution because 
notice how the mean or mu equals zero and the standard deviation or sigma is equal to one. And therefore the horizontal axis can also be viewed as the z-scores. So here's where z equals one and here's where z equals three. So we're looking for the percent of data in this region here. Which as we already found would be 13.5 percent plus 2.35 percent. Which equals 15.85 percent. I hope you found this helpful.